All right, here we go. Now we will see what 720 horses are good for. There we go. Welcome guys to another episode on the Extra Mile. My name is Alex. Thank you so much for being here and watching and thank you for joining me today in a lovely little what is happening? Uh Forza <laughs> Horizon 5 episode. Um after watching all these BMWs drift on the Nordschleife yesterday, um I thought I would try the same today and go in a ride uh, go for right in this car, uh, the E92 M3. I have just been gifted this car in a super wheel spin today. So I thought it would be cool to kind of uh, drive it in its stock form. Yeah, let's go for a ride, see how it drives, and then we will tune it a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds very good, very good. I do like that. Of course, this car in stock form should already, already be quite a drift machine if you can stay on the road, I guess. Yes, please. You don't even have to tune the car to have fun. Sounds really good up top. This is a joy to drive, it really is. You don't even you don't even need to have crazy power in this car. I mean, once you get into third gear territory, it would nice uh, would be nice to have a little bit more a little bit more torque to get the tail out. But this is really nice. Yeah, these are the kind of corners where you could use like 100, 150 horses more to keep the drift going. But this is a lovely car to drive. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is, this is third gear roundabout it's uh, we would need just that little bit more clutch kicking it there we go there we go we would need just that little bit more torque to hold that drift all right so um let's tune the car let's uh, put some more power into it it's wind turbo this baby That already sounds pretty good. Not as good, I think. I think I will leave the stock exhaust there. So yeah, give us cams, even more refs, why not? Uh, a little bit more displacement. And you know what, let's go for the turbo. Wind turbo, 77 horses, that sounds good. We will increase that a little bit more. Um, yeah, I think that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's all that we need in terms of power. I actually don't want to change anything else. I think the car handles and rides fine. Um, I'm kind of interested to see what we can do here. Not that much. What I did see though was a body kit. So let's see how that looks. Ooh. It's a little bit, honestly, it's a little bit too much for my taste. 
I can see how people would do this and it but it's not for me. I gotta be honest, it's not for me. So um let's actually keep the rest stock just to see how it feels. And uh Yeah, let's see. So from 420 horses to 720, so that is a significant increase. Alright guys. Moment of truth. 300 horses on top. Let's take it easy at first. We want to enjoy this. Oh, this is not the terrain for an E92 M3, actually. <laughs> okay, it can be fun, though. Got that. All right, here we go. Now we will see what 720 horses are good for. There we go. This is a different beast all of a sudden. Ooh, way too much cornering speed. Wow. <laughs> I'm loving this. All right, let's drive towards the highway. Do a bit of a top speed test here. I actually don't know the uh, stock top speed of the 92M3. I think it should be somewhere around uh, 300 kilometers an hour. Maybe 295, maybe 305, something like that. Uh, this should be 340, 350 even maybe. Oh, it does have plenty of grunt. Even in third gear and fourth gear now. Sounds so good. Lovely. The way you can rotate the car on the brake and then just catch it on the throttle. You have all the time in the world to do that. Oh god, and you can crash of course as well. <laughs> but yeah, the physics engine in this game is not bad at all. It's not an arcade race. I mean, it is in a way. You can drive through trees and rivers and shit. But uh, that doesn't mean that it's super simple to drive and that you can do everything with a car. You really have to drive it. Especially if it's a car like this with the rear wheel drive and plenty of horsepower. Whoa, stay on the road. You really have to drive it. All right, another little roundabout. Let's see if we can go to second gear here. Oh, no. <laughs> just cruising along just listening to the engine it's really nice as well sometimes all right here we go with a cam update we're revving to 9000 rpm not sure if that's realistic but i'll take it oh we might be gear limited we probably are 
because we're easily going to 330, 335. Yeah, this would go to 350 probably, but we're not that far away from it being drag limited. Very cool. Sounds nice. It does sound nice. Actually, wait, I want to check something. I want to check the 100 to 200. All right, let's see. All right, okay, that's pretty fast. That's five seconds, five and a half seconds, maybe 100 to 200. That's fast. All right. All right, guys, I think that's it for today's episode. Just a quick little drive with the E92 M3. One thing that I'm missing, I mean, I do... I do prefer an open world to just a racetrack game, but... In this open world, I miss one proper racetrack where players could uh, meet up and just go for a couple of laps. Um, I think there's more than enough space. We do have some dirt oval kind of things um but yeah race check would be nice anyway guys this is it from um, me for today thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next episode tomorrow bye, -bye.